Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to say that one more time. I am back after a long long break and the break wasn't intentional at all. The lockdown started and uh, I was like very overwhelmed with all the housework. Um, you were all pitching in, doing everything together but I was just exhausted and I was not getting any time to you know get a routine going where I could film a YouTube videos and then I started with my online classes so yes if you don't know if you don't follow me on uh, other social media accounts I have started with my online makeup classes it's like a two days course uh, for two hours each day and the classes are one-to-one -one and group classes also I've introduced from this month and uh, touch with the response has been very overwhelming so I was very very occupied with that and again I just did not I don't have an off day now uh, today also but I just wanted to get back to YouTube and I promise I will be making videos maybe not three videos a week but I'll definitely try to put up at least two videos per week that is something I really want to do now it's really raining and pouring out as I have started to film so the lighting might be a bit off uh, excuse me for that and today's video I just decided uh, I'll do a haul video on what all I have purchased during this uh, break from YouTube I took a break from YouTube but I was actually working for my classes so makeup and all was going on full swing so let's quickly uh, start the haul if you are interested in the makeup classes, the online makeup classes, I will uh, write down the details below in the description box. You can check and connect with me for the same. And let's just begin. So, uh, so these two products are for hair. So I just thought let's start with that and we'll get these off, out of the way. And mostly all, everything else is... Uh, Mostly everything else is related to makeup only. So for my hair, this one is uh, Vela Professional Scar Sugar Lift. This is sugar spray for voluminous texture. And this is really very good when I'm doing like curls and all. I like to just put it up. Like it's a hair setting spray. So once the curls are done, I like to uh, lift my hair a little and then just spray here also. And it holds the volume on your hair. So I'm really liking enjoying this. And this one is uh, Boost Bounce. This is Curl Enhancing Mousse. Again, um, whether or not I'm curling my hair, once I shampoo my hair, I like to put this, like take, uh, just shake the bottle and take out a little bit of mousse and just apply it on my roots. And I, normally I like my hair to air dry. But if I do blow dry my hair after using this, it just gives me my hair insane volume. Otherwise, my hair is like very limp and it doesn't have much volume. But after using this, also changed my shampoo to a volume, volumizing one. So that helps. Uh, my hair is looking more voluminous than it actually is. So yeah, these are the two products that I've been using and enjoying for my hair. I will do a separate video for skincare products that I have like I've purchased quite a few. I've changed my skincare routine so I'll probably so makeup wise I picked up uh, these colorful liners from Amazon. They're pretty cheap, very very cheap in fact. I don't remember how much I paid like 200 or 300 for these four different uh, color eye like eyeliners. They're not very very glittery per se but they do have like a very good shine this one is a little more on the glittery side so here are the swatches of the four shades i hope you can see them so they are nice and metallic i think only the first one is a little more on the glitter side the rest three are more on metallic side rather than glitter which i thought they are glitter liners but they work well the pigmentation is there the applicator is very nice Quite enjoying these just uh, I think on my last trip to the mall before the lockdown and all I um, bought these Kiko Milano Sicilian notes eyeshadow duos these are again like liquid shadows so this is one of them this is how it looks so I have really um, not played too much with these I have done a video using these already and they blend really nicely into the skin if you can see these two colors so uh, it's very easy to use them blend them this one i haven't used i really like the colors a lot but i did not get a chance to use this one 
um, maybe soon in one of the videos I will use it. So it is like olive green and uh, light and dark shades of olive green. Very nice. It's very like these are very easy to use. So for quick eye makeup looks, these are good. Like on the go also, these are like good ones to have. But this one is like you know this one fades into a nice uh, light brown on the eyes, and then you can just add it and this the lighter one into the inner corner. You can get quick eye makeup looks done with it. Another thing I picked up from Kiko was the Kiko Unforgettable Mascara. Very nice. Uh, builds up the lashes really nicely. I am using this one. Then Kiko mostly has good mascaras only and this is how the wand looks like. Okay. I picked up was the pack Lash Glue. I'm almost out of it. I have to reorder this. I've been using lash glues like crazy. And uh, next thing I picked up was Dual Fold Liquid Gel from Pat. So this is like an exact dupe for Inglot Duraline. What it looks like. It, uh, packaging, applicator, everything is the same. So you just drop it into your, your eyebrow pomade or your gel eyeliners. A few more eyeliners that I picked up. This one was on sale on Nika and this one is the Infallible L'Oreal Infallible Gel Crayon. 24 hours waterproof. Ta -ta -ta. I how it swatches and this is what I have on my lower lash line today and uh, again L'Oreal uh, gel eyeliners are really very good I like the pot ones and the pencil gel liners are also very nice they're very creamy they don't dry picked it up on sale so I'm enjoying it even more liquid eyeliner this one is color bar all matte eyeliner it is quite matte I like the applicator it's uh, easy to use also uh, I can get like wings nicely with this a beauty eyeliners also I love the packaging the applicator on this is also very nice very thin you can get like very thin strokes and nice wings uh, and I m might be picking up more colorful liners from this range so I picked up a green one it dries to a beautiful green it looks very nice I've been using it a lot I ordered another kajal pencil this one is from Nika Glamorize and this one is in the shade uh, Voodoo Grey again these are like gel kind of an eyeliners so they are very soft they're very soft and they have great pigmentation. They glide on very easily. I don't enjoy pencil liners because they tend to dry very quickly. Uh, but this one, I've sharpened it two, three times. I've been using it almost daily for my classes. They are not drying. Uh, so that is why I think I'm really enjoying these. They come in a lot of good colors. I'm going to pick up a few more uh, colors in this one. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, not the most long staying kajal I would say but when I set it with eyeshadow it stays a lot longer. Yeah then I picked up the pack micro finish makeup fixer also. I was so pleasantly surprised with this one. You, if you use it you will know the difference between this one or the NYX wet and wild one. So this is the mister on this is very very fine. For as lipstick is concerned I just picked up one. This one is Nefertiti from Nika Ultra Matte range. I really enjoy their range. I've swatched it so many times in the store. I already have Mona Lisa. <laughs> so uh, I just picked up another shade. This is Nefertiti. Beautiful peachy nude kind of a lipstick. Really enjoying this a lot. And I've really been into glosses a lot. So, so I picked up this one. Uh, this one is from Kiko. This is 3D Hydra Lip Gloss and this is in the number 18. Oh my god, this is such a beautiful gloss and I can't wait to try more glosses from Kiko. On its own, it's a pretty clear gloss. Alright, so we're at the end of the video and I've kept the best for the last. So, I just picked up two. I bought two um, eyeshadow palettes. One from a friend and the other one I got from an Instagram page. This is from September Rose Cosmetics. This is the 25 color eyeshadow palette. And yes, I have been using this palette. Can you believe it? This has all the bright colors and I've been using so much of it. In fact, in my online classes, uh, I've been doing a lot of blue eye makeup. So the one I'm doing, so this one and this one are the shades that I've used. And this bright pink, this one. So these are the three shades I have used for the eye makeup look that you see here. If you guys want me to do a YouTube video on this 
particular makeup that you see today let me know i'm definitely going to share it with you guys and my prized possession this one this is the be perfect carnival excel of the row palette this is so big this is taking the whole entire screen and these highlighters oh my god you guys they are like so they make like the face look so wet i i like i really like it that they are like very nice i wouldn't suggest these for oily skin people but for dry skin it will just make your face look so plump and all these colors you can see i've, I've bumped into like i've dipped into a few of them it's a big palette i'm still um, exploring the palette still using the palette and oh my god i love this palette so much so look out for more colorful looks using that palette and oh my god i've been talking continuously for a long long time and this is a big haul i hope you all enjoyed it and it feels very good to come back here and again talk to you guys i will try to be regular i promise and i'll see you in the next video very soon guys bye bye